Okay, this is the last exercise in the in sections of solids. Uh, the question is a cone of base diameter 60 millimeter standing upright is cut by a section vein such that the true shape is a parabola whose double ordinate is 50 millimeter and abscissa is 70 millimeter. Draw the front view, top view, and the true shape of the section. So in this case, a cone is cut or section in such a way that the true shape is a parabola. And the parabola has a double ordinate 50 millimeter and abscissa 70 millimeter. So I'll explain what is double ordinate and what is abscissa. In, an, in a parabola, if uh, so a parabola will be something like this. In a parabola, this will be the axis, the axis of uh, uh, the parabola that is a the axis so the double ordinate is nothing but that this a line a line like this this is a double ordinate this line so this is the double ordinate and then the abscissa is the distance from this point to this point. The point of intersection of the axis with the, uh, the double ordinate and the vertex. So that is, this is the abscissa. So this is the condition for uh, the abscissa and the double ordinate of an ellipse, I mean a parabola. So then how to draw it, how to get it uh, while sectioning a cone that let's see the first the xy line the shape of the cone, the dimensions of the cone is given so the dimensions and the cone, cone in the top view is drawn as a circle and the circle is divided into eight equal parts so that all the generators are drawn o is the apex now since the double ordinate is 50 millimeter we will obtain the double ordinate of the parabola only when uh, the section plane intersects with the base circle. Then only we will get a straight line. Uh, on all other points, uh, we will get only a curved surface uh, or curved uh, a curve. We will get a curve. So what we this is the uh, size of the double ordinate that we take it in the base part, base circle. So, in order to make it symmetrical, we take 25 millimeter from this AE towards the upper side and 25 millimeter towards the bottom side so that the total will be 50 millimeter. So, this is the abscissa. Now, what we do is this is the point P and Q. Now project the points P and Q, that is P dash, Q dash into the front view. Then from E also, we project uh, towards the front view, that is E dash. Now from P dash, Q dash and from E dash, we draw two arcs with the radius equal to the abscissa. Now the abscissa is 70 millimeter, so we draw an, an, an arc of radius 70 millimeter from p dash q dash and uh, the same radius with the radius as 50, 70 millimeter itself we draw another arc to intersect the first arc the uh, center of the second arc will be the point e dash now we go in p dash q dash with the e dash uh, with the, not with the e dash the newly found out point the point of intersection p dash q dash with the point of intersection and this is 70 millimeter so this is also 70 millimeter now what we does is we draw the projector for the apex projector for the apex is drawn then from the right hand side that is from the point from the uh, side of the e dash we extend our triangular face towards the top so like this this portion see watch this portion this portion is extended 
Now this point will be apex. This point will be the apex for dash. So now from a dash, from a we find out a dash, then join a dash with the o dash. This completes the front view of the cone. So now how to draw the front view? Let's see once more. So first we uh, draw the circle, then divide the circle, then uh, we find out the 50 millimeter, abs uh, I mean double ordinate, we, we mark the double ordinate as 50 millimeter, then P dash Q dash is projected upward uh, so that the P dash Q dash in the front view is obtained, that is in the XY line itself, P dash Q dash is obtained, then the point E is also projected upward so that it is the point E dash is obtained. Then with the P dash Q dash and P dash as center, we draw two arcs, each of radius 50 millimeter, so that it will intersect at some point. Now we join P dash Q dash with the point of intersection, as well as E dash with the point of intersection. Now what we do is we project the O, the apex. The apex is projected. That is O dash is. Projector, the projector through the O dash is drawn. We doesn't know where this apex is because the height of this particular cone is not given. So we doesn't know where the height, uh, where this will end. So what we does is, in order to find out the apex in the front view, what we does is we extend this E dash, the side, the generator through E dash to the projector through the center, through the axis. Or through the apex. Now this point is O dash. Now we project A to A dash, then A dash O dash is also doing. Now, as usual, our normal conditions. All the points are projected towards the front view. Then the section plane is the uh, drawn. All the newly found out points are projected to the top view also. The top view is also drawn. R dash and S dash is in the in a project in a generator which is vertical to the XY line. So that we have to project it sideways and then project it downward as we have <coughs> sorry. As we have done in one of the previous cases. So that's it. And as usual, our usual projection procedures are completed.